is KLLB News 13 at 10. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Ames testing is on the minds of students all over the state this week. Tonight, we meet a local fifth grader who's already had a taste of the Ames, and now he's tackling college level learning. KLD News 13's Teresa Judd has the story new at 10. Chris, when you watch Mateen Uxel with his friends, he's like any typical fifth grader. He loves soccer, football, and playing video games. Lots of video games, as he puts it. But in the classroom, he's anything but typical. The lesson today is science. Oh. It's one of Mateen Uxel's favorite subjects, but you might say that about anything he studies in school. What's the lowest grade you've ever gotten? This 11-year-old is not only more advanced than most fifth graders, he's more advanced than most high schoolers. This science class he's in is college-level biology. It makes me feel pretty good. Some of the work is challenging, but um, the more you get, you get used to it after a while, and so it's not as challenging. To use a hackneyed term, it knocks my socks off. David Jones created the Accelerated Learning Lab school that Mateen attends. The founding philosophy is to allow learning without limits. If we don't provide opportunity, if we have a prodigy buried in there someplace or uh, some kind of gift, then it never shows. Symbol would that be? Positive and positive times. For Mateen, that gift is something he shares through tutoring, helping high school students like Chase Turner with their math. It's different, especially when he's done. He always has to rub it in. <laughs> Joking aside, math is something Mateen takes seriously. Toting around a college algebra textbook, his next challenge is calculus. It's really an interesting subject because it's always so detailed and it gets complicated and complicated. What's not complicated is how Mateen says he learns this stuff so quickly. Um, you just have to get focused at it and just be an optimist, not the best news. If only it were that easy. Mateen is already thinking about college plans. He hopes to one day attend Stanford University and become a doctor. Teresa John, KOBLD News 13. Good luck to him. Thanks, Teresa.